In this video, we are going to show you how to connect GP708 and GP712 to make an expand application and can make outgoing or incoming call. Before starting, we suggest that you have already prepared the following items. In the following video, I will teach you how to step out the connection between GP708 and GP712 to make an expand application. We will set the GP712 as a trunk and set the GP708 as a server. After connect PBS and get web through the internet, they are like a bridge between IP phone and Bluetooth mobile phone. By this connection process, we can make an incoming call and outgoing call through the IP phone. Therefore, we can expand more chunks. It's a very useful application. Let's start with the new web page. Enter the GP708 default IP address. 192.168.0.247 Enter the username and password in the login page. Now, we are in the BTVO IP PBX page. We need to establish two users. 6001 will be set as extension and 6002 will be set as trunk of GP712. Let's set 6001 first. Click Users. Creating new user. Extension is 6001. Color ID is 6001 as well. Select Dial Plan 1 and set the SIPIS password as 6001 or whatever you like. Update. Next, let's set 6002. Create new user. Input 6002 in extensions and the caller ID. Select our plan 2. And set the SIPIS password as 6002 or whatever you like. Update. Then click Apply Changes. Let's go back to system status. As you can see, these two extensions have been established. Next, let's go to dial plan part to check the setup status. You can see the dial plan 1 is row 1. It's outgoing call. And dial plan 2 is row 2. It's main incoming call. Then we can go to file editor. Choose Extensions. Click the plus in front of calling row dash row 1 to alter the programming. Please input the following programming in the window. You can see there have type 6002. It means 6001 will be forwarded to row 2. It's no problem now. Click Save. Let's go to outgoing part. Select row 2. Edit. Row 2 is extension 6002. Click send to local destination. And destination choose user extension 6001. It means the incoming calls of extension 6002 will be forwarded to extension 6001. Save. Apply changes. GP708 Gateway Set R has been finished. Next, we will set out the GP712 Gateway. Input the GP712 default IP 192.168.0.249. Enter the username and password in the login page. First, let's set out the outgoing code. Select root, down link, 
choose one stage. Set. Next, let's set our incoming call. Select uplink. Input six thousand one in fixed number. Six thousand one is extension of SJ phone. Set. Go to SIP service. Select on. Input the account and password which we had set in the extension 6002 of GP708. So let's enter account 6002 here. Password is 6002. And input GP708 server IP address 192.168.0.247 in part C server. Submit. Save. Save. Go back to SIP. Service. You can see the status shows register. And go to GP708 Gateway. The extension 6002 shows green light 2. It means the connection is success. Next, I am going to show you how to set up SJ phone. Click Options, Profiles, New. Input GP708 as your profile name. OK. Go to SIP Proxy. Input GP708 server IP 192.168.0.247 in proxy domain and cancel the proxy string outbound. OK. Input the account and password which we had set in the extension 6001 of GP708. So, let's enter 6001 here. And here. Click OK. OK. You can see the SJ phone is registered. The extension 6001 shows green light as well, so we can prepare a mobile phone now. Execute the Bluetooth function of this mobile phone. You can find two posts of GP712 on the list. Let's select GP712-1. Input the password. Click Pair. Now it's connected. Then go back to GP712 website. Click Systems. Status. You can see the BT status shows connected. Let's do the outgoing demonstration. First, use SJ phone to dial out. Enter the phone number. You can see the telephone is ringing. Extension 6002 is showing ringing status. Now your VLIP can directly dial out. OK, now we are going to do the incoming demonstration. Use telephone to make an incoming call. The SJ phone is ringing. Extension 6001 is showing ring status as well. Now your VOIP can receive the incoming code. 